Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to recover your deleted files from your hard disk, USB drive or memory card. And for that we are going to use this free program available, Desk Disk and it's completely free. You can download it from this website. I will also leave a link to this website in the description. You have to go here and then go to the download section here. And from here you can download this program completely for free and they have multiple versions for um, different type of devices. So today I'm going to use this Windows 64 bit and according to your device you can download the program and doesn't require any installation. It's very simple to use. So I will show you how to use it. Here you can see I have downloaded the zip file and extracted this. That's it. You do not need to install it or anything. And for this test, I'm on the left side, you can see here, this is the test uh, recovery drive from here. I'm going to delete this images. Um, it actually has a lot of different content. There's an archive file, there's a PDF file and multiple images. So from this drive, I'm going to delete this. Okay. And it has been deleted. And since it is from a USB drive, um, it will not be saved in the recycle bin and I cannot uh, undo it. Now to recover these files, I'm going to use the program and first you have to extract it. Then you will see uh, uh, here. Okay, you will see all its content. And there is one important thing that you need to remember that you should not uh, have any program on the drive from which you are trying to recover your files. That is, this program should be installed or stored on a different drive that is um, you are not using for recovery. Okay. And also this uh, drive from which you want to recover the files, it should not be the same place from where you will uh, restore the recovered files. Okay. So it should be a completely separate drive and from where you are managing your operating system and the test recovery software, it should be a completely different drive. Okay. So after that, let's run this. So for this, we are going to run this program just for recovering this files. It is this a good program and it has another program test disk. You can also try this, but this is more for hard disk, which are not bootable. You can use this for make it bootable and for recovering files. I would suggest you to try this application first and then you can try this if this doesn't work. Okay. So simply click on open this program photo recovery uh, win.exe and it will open the command prompt and it will show you all the hard disk. Now it is very important that you watch this video carefully and follow all the steps as shown in the video. Do not select the wrong drive, otherwise it will create more pro problems. So to uh, navigate, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. I have selected this uh, second drive, SanDisk. This is I'm going to use for the test, okay? And, and then I will press enter. You can see here the proceed is selected, okay? Then you have to select the partition type. Usually it automatically selects the correct one. So in my case, this is the correct one. This is the name of the drive you can also see here. And here also you can see the search option is selected. So I will simply press enter. Otherwise, if you want to navigate, then you can also use the same arrow keys. And also you have some options here like this. So I would not suggest you to um, change this options. I would suggest you to use the default options here. Right. Then let's go to the file option here. Here you can see this uh, software can recover all these type of file extensions. This is a very long list of files. So I will um, simply press on B here to save the settings. You can see the settings have been saved. Then quit. And now again I will press the arrow keys to go back to the search option here. Press enter. Now here there are two types of uh, extension file systems the first one ext2 and 3 is for linux file system so if you are using you are using a linux then you have to select this for other you have to select this other and also you can see here normally 
for most cases it automatically picks the correct one so you can see here this is a fat 32 file system so we have to select other and then press enter now there are two options available first is to scan for file only from the unallocated space so it will be useful for example if you had a lot of files in this uh, drive okay and i accidentally deleted only a folder okay or only few files then you can try the free method so it will not scan the whole drive it will only scan from the free space on the drive to recover the deleted files okay so if you have a large hard disk and you deleted only few files you want to recover it then you can select the free option but if you want to recover the comp all files available on that drive then you have to select the second option whole and remember this option will take a lot more time because it will scan the whole drive and depending on the condition of your drive and the size of the drive the time will uh, may increase or decrease so example if your drive has some errors it runs slow then it will take more time so i will select whole here and then press enter now we have to select the destination for the recovered files now as i told you do not select the destination on the same drive from which you are trying to recover files so here you can see this this is the location where the recovered files will be saved and by default it will pick the zip uh, the it's the folder where it's from where you are running the application so this is correct so to confirm i will press c and then it will the recovery program will automatically start now all you have to do is um, just wait you can also see the estimated time it is showing so it is showing about five minutes for now so i will pause the video and once the recovery is complete i will show you the next steps and see let's see how many files it can recover now as you can see the recovery is complete and this program has managed to recover 61 files and this is the location where all the restored files have saved so to locate this let's minimize this let's go here there's the folder from where we were running this application and you will see this um, directory here recoup just uh, enter here and you will see all the files that this program managed to recover will be located here so now let's try to view some files and see if they are working Okay, this is correct file. Okay, so this has managed to recover most of the files. And just to make things a little complicated, I added uh, some zip files also. Let's see if we can access the files inside these archive files. Can you see here? And if I open this, you can see your data recovered successfully. I added this uh, text file in this archive to make sure that uh, if we successfully recover it, then we can read the message here. We can also, I think, um, check the PDF file. So this is also working. So it means it is not corrupt and it has been recovered successfully. But another thing you will notice that all the file names have been changed and they are not in the correct format as they were initially in our test drive in a proper uh, folder and everything here you will see all the recovered files uh, like this so you will have to go through these files to see if your files have been recovered successfully and then reorganize them so i hope you found this tutorial useful and you managed to recover your lost files that's it for this video and i would suggest you to please watch the video carefully before proceeding if you have any questions or doubts um, or you have feedback, please post in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.